you're just about to um, experience a new and different approach to learning and to language learning that will give you the practical and functional use within uh, 10 to 12 hours of learning time. All this is achieved and will be achieved without memorizing, which means there was, there's never anything to memorize without learning by rote, without drill, without textbooks, without taking notes, and without homework, without any mental homework. That is very important for you to be relaxed, to uh, take off, to leave off any form of tension, any form of anxiety that is usually associated with learning and traditionally also particularly with language learning. And any form of anxiety, any form of tension inhibits true and effective learning. Before starting, the two ground rules that are very important. The first ground rule is for you never to worry about remembering, and therefore never to try to remember, because this is a method where the responsibility for your remembering is in the teaching and not with you, not with the learner. And this is a method where the responsibility for attention is in the teaching and not with the learner. Therefore, there's no homework, not even any mental homework. It's very important not to review even mentally of what you've learned. Let it be absorbed and internalized to become knowledge. And what you know, you will not forget. Now I come to ground rule number two that is very important too. That ground rule is that in the course, I'm using two students as a teaching device in order to create a learning situation for three. You become the third in the group. And very quickly, you will associate with the two on the tapes. You will become part of it. And it's very important, therefore, that after I introduce a concept, I will follow up in a practical way and show you how to formulate and to express thoughts in sentences. First, those will be short sentences, then more and more complex and longer sentences. And whenever I say, how do you say it, at that point, it's very important, I repeat, very important for you to use the pause button on the machine, which gives you time to think it out, to think it through, and to respond out loud. After you respond, you release the pause button, you will then get the response from one of the two students, and after that I will repeat it, so that the last impression is always what you get from me. And this is how you will experience a constant sense of progression, a constant sense of learning, that you will find exciting, stimulating, and self-rewarding. Good morning and welcome. Good morning and welcome to the German language. I want to show you right from the beginning that we're going to get acquainted here with a language that is not entirely foreign, alien to English, but that there's a broad common basis of familiarity between the Anglo-Saxon part of English, which is a large part, because Essentially, and structurally, English is an Anglo-Saxon, meaning Germanic language, and German. There are a lot of 
similarities, which I'm going to point out right from the beginning. As I said, to wish you a welcome, wünschen is to, to wish, welcome, willkommen. Good morning, good morgen. Because you're going to learn and learn the German language. Sehr schnell, very quickly. During the uh, Middle Ages, with Germanic languages, uh, occurred shifts in consonants. And these shifts will show you the differences in pronunciation of Germanic words, words in, in different Germanic languages, which includes, of course, Anglo-Saxon. I will put those shifts of consonants onto three strings of, uh, of consonants, like three strings of pearls. I will show you what I mean. Let's start with string number one. String number one, I call the D string. The D, the letter D, the consonant D, may change to T. D and T are very close. D, T, or T, or to TH. In uh, German, you, uh, you don't have a TH sound. Either you have a T, or, an, or TH becomes an S. So we have D, T, TH, to S, to Z, or Z. That is string number one. String number two is the B string. The B, that is close to a P. We have B to P, to B to P or PH. Like in Philip, PH can be, then is pronounced like an F. So we have B, P, PH, F, F to V, because in German, the letter V is pronounced like an F. V-O-N is pronounced von, to a W, which you don't have in the W sound in German. The W in German is pronounced like a V. So that is the B string. I repeat, B, P, P, H, F, V, to W. And the third string is, in, of course, the uh, G string. The G, which is close to G, to to GH, to, uh, to C, to CH, or CH to a K, or CK. And that goes all the way to a Y, the Y in English, which in German will be a G. So these are the th three strings, and I will come back to them. So, if we take, for instance, good, yeah, good morning, good is good. The D of good is a T in German, pronounced gut. It is in German is S, it is S, spelled E-S, where we have the it. The T of it is an S, so S, it, and it is, S ist, the is, takes a T, because as you will see, for, for he, she, it in German, you have a T ending. In English, an S ending, he goes. But in German, a gate, the S is a T. So, es ist means it is. So, it is uh, good would be, how would you say that? Es ist gut. Es ist. Es ist gut. Yes, but one has to hear the, all consonants, all sounds in German are clearly pronounced even when they are unstressed. The, the T has to be heard. Es ist. Es ist gut. Once more. Es ist gut. Es ist gut. Once more. Es ist gut. 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 Yes. The uh, 
the good is spelled G U T. The U always is pronounced like a double O in English, like in food. Good. So once more, it is good. Es ist gut. Right. Es ist gut. In string number one, the D string, for instance, if we take what, what in uh, German, the T of what would become an S. And so what in German would be, try it to guess it. Was? Was, right. Spelled W-A-S. The, the W, again, is pronounced like a V in German. And you have was. Was. Water would be the T of water. Becomes an S or a double S here. Would be... Wasser. Wasser. Mm -hmm. Wasser. For verbs, verbs always have an N at the end, mostly E-N. Like to drink, to drink, the D, to drink, becomes a T, which will become in German... Trinken. Trinken, yes. So to drink, trinken. So the, the two form of the verb in English, you have to use the two, wor the two words, to drink, to eat, to come. In, uh, in German, it's expressed in the E-N, N, mostly E-N. So, trinken, that is the, the full verb or infinitive, is trinken. And let's take, do you want? Do you want? In German is wollen Sie. Wollen. Wollen is the volition part of wanting. Volition. Wollen. Wollen is spelled W O double L E N. Again, the W has the sound of a V. Wollen. Wollen Sie. Sie means you. Spelled capital S. I E. Wollen Sie is do you want. It also is used for will you. Will you please. Wollen Sie. For instance, how would you say, uh, what do you want? What is. Was. Was. And do you want. Wollen Sie. Right. Was wollen Sie. Was wollen Sie. So, what do you want to drink? Was wollen Sie trinken? Right. Was wollen Sie trinken? To eat, the T of eat becomes an S or double S. So, what would be to eat? Essen. 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 Spelled E double S E N S N. What do you want to eat? Was wollen Sie essen? Right. Was wollen Sie essen? To do. But the D of do becomes a T, and you have. To. To do. To in. Yes. Tun became actually tun. It's, it's tun. called T-U-N. Tun. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? Was wollen Sie tun? Tun. 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 Make it tun. Was wollen Sie tun? To come. Just guess it. What would be to come? Common. 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 I started with Willkommen, welcome, kommen, to come. So, uh, do you want to come? Would be? 
Wollen Sie kommen? Right. Wollen Sie kommen? With me is mit mir. Mit. Spelt MIT means with. Mit mir would be with me. Mir spelt M-I-R. Mit mir. How about you say, do you want to come with me? Wollen Sie kommen mit mir? Aha. Wollen Sie kommen mit mir? However, in, whenever you have two verbs in German, the second verb comes at the end of sentence. Regardless of how long the sentence is, it always comes at the end, which means that you have to wait until the end of the sentence to know what one is talking about. So if you want to say, do you want to come with me? Would be... You want... Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Kommen, kommen. Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Right. Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? You want with me to come. So... The second, the second verb is always the full verb, the two form of the verb with the en or n. Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? If you want to say uh, today is heute. 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 Heute is spelled H-E-U-T-E. -E. The E-U always has the sound of an oi. Heute. Heute. So how would you say, do you want to come with, uh, with me today? Wollen Sie mit mir heute kommen? Right. Wollen Sie mit mir heute kommen? Or wollen Sie heute mit mir kommen? The second verb, the second verb is at the end. The, um, the word for evening is Abend. Abend, where we have here the, the second string, the B string, yes? The B, which becomes the V. Eve, or the, the V in English, a B in German. The Eve, or evening, Abend. A-B-E-N-D, Abend. Guten Abend would be good evening. So, what is the word for today? Heute. Heute. And this evening in German is today evening, which would be Heute Abend. Heute Abend. Heute Abend. How would you say, do you want to come with me uh, this evening? Wollen Sie mit mir heute Abend kommen? Right. Wollen Sie mit mir heute Abend kommen? Or wollen Sie heute Abend mit mir kommen? How do you say, uh, what do you want to eat? Was wollen Sie essen? Right. Was wollen Sie essen? Mm -hmm. How do you say, uh, once more, do you want to come with me? Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Right. Wollen Sie means do you want, but it's also used for will you, will you please. So whenever you want to use will you, which is a polite request in English, will you please, wollen Sie. So will you come with me, would be, will you come with me tonight? Wollen Sie mit mir heute uh, Abend kommen? Right. Wollen Sie mit mir heute Abend kommen? Wollen Sie heute Abend mit mir kommen? To be in German is sein. Spelled S-E-I-N. Sein. And when, when is wann. When, wann. Wann spelled W-A-N-N. Wann. Again, the W expressing the sound of a V, wann. When do you want to be here? Would be? Wann? Oh, the word for here <laughs> is, uh, is the same as in, as in English, here. It's spelled H-I-E-R, but it, here is here. 
So, when do you want to be here? Wann essen Sie hier? That would be when are you eating here? Wenn, wann, wann, wann wollen Sie hier sein? Right. Wann wollen Sie hier sein? So again, do you want is? Wollen Sie. Wollen Sie. And will you, will you please? Wollen Sie. Wollen Sie, the same. And can you is können, können, können Sie. Spelled K-O with umlaut, meaning you have a, a, two dots over the O, which gives you the sound of an Ö, Ö, where you have to point your lips a little to können, können Sie, can you. How would you say it? Können. Können Sie. Können Sie, yes. Können. So bring out your, um, your lips a little bit to können Sie. Once more. Können Sie. Yes, können Sie. So, what would be uh, to to come? Common. Hmm? Common. 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 Spelled K O M M E N. Common. Can you uh, can you come with me? Would be. Com, uh, no. Können. Können. Yes. Sie mit mir kommen. Right. Können Sie mit mir kommen? So with me, mit mir. Können Sie mit mir kommen? So once more. I would just say, will you please come with me? Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Right. <laughs> Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? How would you say, do you want to come with me? Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Yes. Now there's a difference, however, between do you want and will you? Difference in English, but also difference in German. Because if you say, do you want to come with me? That becomes a question. Mm. Whereas, will you come with me, is a polite request. So therefore, if you want to say, do you want to come with me, then you use the inflection to a question at the end. Mm -hmm. So how would you say now, do you want to come with me? <laughs> but, which Wollen is, Sie mit mir kommen? Right? Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Now, now you expect an answer, yes, ja, yes, or no, right. or nein. Nein is no. Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? But will you come with me is not a question, but a polite request, and that would be... Wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Right, wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Now you can even throw in, wollen Sie bitte? Bitte means please. It's I bid you, <laughs> yes. Bitte, spelled B-I-T-T-E, -T -T -E, means please. So wollen Sie bitte mit mir kommen? Uh, but if you want to say, uh, when do you want to come with me? Now, when is wann, W-A-N-N, you have already a question introduced with wann. Then uh, you don't need the inflection to a question. You can put it in or not, doesn't matter, because wann already is the question. When do you want has to be wann. Wollen Sie. Wann wollen Sie. So, when do you want to come with me? Wann wollen, Sie, wann? wann wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Right. Wann wollen Sie mit mir kommen? Wann wollen Sie mit mir kommen? To, to see is sehen. Again, to see is sehen. Actually, it's spelled S-E-H-E-N. Sehen. Mm. But pronounced sehen. Sehen. You may have heard the expression of Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen means, and wieder means again. So Wiedersehen means to see again, to again see. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen means until I see you again. Yes, Auf Wiedersehen. So sehen, to see. If you talk to somebody on the phone, you will not say Auf Wiedersehen. Because you don't see them. So one will say Auf Wiederhören. To to hear is hören, of course. To hear, hören. Wiederhören is to hear again. Auf Wiederhören. Until I, I hear you again. How would you say, when do you want to see it? Now, how would you say, what is the word for it? S. S. Right. Spelled E-S. It is, S is. 
es ist. So it is as. And remember that the second verb has to be at the end. So when do you want to see it? Wann wollen Sie es sehen? Right. Wann wollen Sie es sehen? What is can you? And you Could. point your, your, your lips a <laughs> little. Können Sie. Kön können. 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 Können Sie. Können Sie. Can you see it? Können Sie es sehr? Können Sie es sehr? Sehen. Sehen. Können Sie es sehen? So können Sie, can you? I can is ich kann. The word for I is ich. And I want to, uh, to, to make sure right from the beginning of how to pronounce a sound which we don't have in English. And that is the sound of the, uh, the CH, ich. I is spelled I C H, pronounced ich. It's a very soft uh, S H sound. So instead of ich, make it ich, ich. That, that sound is more in the back of your mouth. So ich would be I. Try it. Ich. 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 Good. Ich. Ich is right. Ich. Ich. If you want to say I want, is ich will. And will is spelled W I double L. It's like will. I will. But ich will does not mean I will, but I want. I have the will to do it. Yes, and not I will do it, but I have the will meaning I want. So I want is ich will. Do you want is wollen Sie. Wollen Sie. So you want would be if wollen Sie, Sie wollen. Is, hmm? Sie wollen. Sie wollen, right. Sie wollen. Uh, the word for if is wenn. Wenn. Well, w E double N. Wenn. Not to be confused with wann. W A double N. Wann means when. But if is when. When do you want would be. Then wollen Sie. No. When. When is. Wann wollen Sie. Wann. Wann wollen, wann Sie. wollen Sie. But if you want would be. Wenn wollen Sie. No. Not if uh, do you want, but if you want. If Sie. No. If is wenn, wenn you. Sie wollen. Right. <laughs> wenn Sie wollen. Again, do you want would be? Wollen Sie. Mm -hmm. You want? Sie wollen. Right. And we want would be, would be wir wollen. For we, we, wir, spelled W-I-R, wir. So for you and we, you always have the same form, which means it's the same as the whole verb with an E-N, wollen. Actually, wollen means to want. Sie wollen, you want. Wir wollen, we want. To, to come is... Common. Common. So the whole verb, the two form of the verb, the infinitive, kommen. K-O-M-E-N. So your coming would be... Sie kommen. Sie. Kommen. Sie kommen. Mm -hmm. And we are coming. Wir. Wir kommen. Wir kommen. And if you want to ask a question, are you coming? Would be, come you? Are kommen you coming? Sie? Yes, whenever you have a question mark, you just invert. Come you? Come in Sie? Do you come or are you coming? Come in Sie? When are you coming? Would be? Wann kommen Sie? Wann kommen Sie? When do you come? It's the same. Wann kommen Sie? Wann kommen Sie? But for I, you drop the N always. So, I come, I'm coming would be? 
Ich komme. Ich komme oder ich komme. Ich komme. Ich komme. Ich komme. Yes, yes. In speaking usually, but very often you hear, ich komme. But actually, ich komme. Ich komme. Mm -hmm. Soon is bald. Spelled, spelled like bald, bald. To be bald soon. Bald. <laughs> so I'm coming soon would be. Ich komme bald. Ich komme bald. Ich komme bald. Ich komme bald. So, uh, again, do you want would be? Wollen Sie? Wollen Sie. Mm -hmm. But I want is I will. I have the will. Ich. Ich will. Ich will. Can you would be? No, you have to point your, uh, bring out your lips to. Kommen Sie. No. Uh, können Sie. Können. Können Sie. It's uh, very important to bring out the sound of an Ö. Können. Like, uh, think of, uh, of Föhr, of Sör. That Ö. Können. Können. And that is spelled with an O, um, o umlaut, meaning over those two dots over the O. Können. So, can again, can you come with me would be? Können Sie mit, können. Können Sie mit mir kommen? Right. Können Sie mit mir kommen? To stay is bleiben. Bleiben. The uh, sound of I is spelled with an EI in German. So bleiben is spelled B-L-E-I-B-E-N. Bleiben. To stay. How would you say uh, we are staying or we stay? Wir bleiben. Wir bleiben. So in uh, in English you have three ways to express the present tense. You can say we stay or we are staying or we do stay or we do not stay or, or do you stay or are you staying? But only in modern English. I say modern English because it used not to be that way in English. If we go back only a few hundred years, if we go back a few hundred years uh, to the 17th century, we'll, we'll meet the English, the modern English of the 17th century. We'll meet the King James Version of the Bible translation that came out in 1611. And there it says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They know not what they do, yes. So you don't have, they, in modern English, would say they don't know what they are doing. Mm. But in the 17th century English, you didn't have, they do not know what they are doing. They know not what they do. Or Shakespeare, where goest thou, my love? Mm. Where goest thou? Not where are you going or where do you go. And this is what you do in modern German. So you don't have the ing, the so-called progressive uh, tenses with ing. No, no am or is with or are with ing. No aming, is ing, aring. Or and you don't use do you or don't. Like uh, do you want is... Wollen Sie. Wollen Sie. So, to stay is bleiben. So, we are staying as we, we stay, which is... Wir bleiben. Wir bleiben. Wir bleiben. You remember the word for here? Here. Here, right. But spelled H-I-E-R. So, we are staying here would be... Wir bleiben here. Right. Uh, we are staying here uh, today. Wir bleiben here. Heute? Right, we are in here heute, or we are heute here. We are staying here this evening or tonight, which is today evening. We are bleiben heute Abend here. Right, we are bleiben heute Abend here. Right. So, how would you say uh, 
You are staying. Sie bleiben. Sie bleiben. Mm -hmm. And if you want to turn it into a question, into a question mark. Bleiben are, Sie? Bleiben Sie? So bleiben Sie is do you stay in English? Do you? You have to use do you or are you with the ing. Are you staying? Do you stay? You don't have that in German. You just invert. Stay you? If you want to say how is V. To go is uh, gehen, of course, gehen, spelled G-E-H-E-N, gehen. And to see is sein. No, sein, sein. is to be. Z sein. Sein, S-E-H-E-N. Sein, to see, gehen, to go. We are going would be? Wir gehen. Right. You are going? Sie gehen. Sie gehen. Are you going? Gehen Sie. Right. I'm going. I go would be? Ich gehe. Ich gehe. Ich gehe. Ich gehe. Ich gehe. Right. The word for not. Well, let's go back first to, to I. Again, I is? Ich. Ich. Right. Ich. Spelled I-C-H. Ich. If you put an N in front of ich, you get nich. 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 Once more. Nich. 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 Now add a T to the nich and you get nicht. Nicht. Nicht means not. Nicht is not. The word for now is jetzt. Think of for now, think of yes, of the English yes, but put an, a, a T in front of the S and, and add a T after the S. So leave the S between two T's and you have yet. Jetzt. 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 Yes, say it again. Jetzt. Uh, yes, but, no. but don't add anything. Yeah. Jetzt. 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 Right. Jetzt. Jetzt. How would you say it? Jetzt. Right. Jetzt. Jetzt. So it is not spelled that way, but that's how it sounds. Jetzt. Sounds like yes with, a, with the S between two T's. But one T before and one T after. Jetzt. In German you have a, a Z instead of an S. Or Z. Z or Z. Jetzt. So how do you say uh, uh, not now? Nicht jetzt. Nicht. Nicht jetzt. Uh, you'll have to do a little better for not. Nicht yes. jetzt. Nicht jetzt. Right. How would you say it? Nicht jetzt. Nicht jetzt. What does I want? Ich will. Ich will, right. I have the will. Ich will. I want to see it. Ich will es sehen. Right. Ich will es sehen. The word for but is aber. 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 Spelled A-B-E-R. Aber. I want to see it, but not now. Ich will es sehen, aber nicht jetzt. Right. Ich will es sehen, aber nicht jetzt. Can you see it? Können Sie sehen? Can you see it? Können Sie es sehen? Right. Können Sie es sehen? I can see it. Ich könne. Nein. For I can is ich kann, spelled K-A-N-N, kann. Ich kann yes. es sehen. Right. But you, you were right in your thinking, yes? You just chopped off the N, but some words, I call them handles, they, they go their own way. Like ich kann, ich will. It's another handle because these are the verbs after which another verb will follow at the end. 
so uh, yeah, ich kann. So I, I cannot see it would be ich kann nicht sehen. It. Ich kann nicht es sehen. Ich kann nicht es sehen. Uh, usually you will put the the pronoun es before nicht. But ich kann nicht es sehen is correct. It puts a little more emphasis on not in German. It would be I cannot see it instead of I cannot see it. So you can say ich, ich kann nicht es sehen or ich kann es nicht sehen. Um, how would you say I cannot see you? What is you? Z. Z. Capital S I E. I I cannot see you. Ich kann. Mm -hmm. Ich kann sie nicht sehen. Right. Ich kann sie nicht sehen. Ich kann sie nicht sehen. That was good. Now I could hear the T clearly. Ich kann sie nicht sehen. Let's take to understand is verstehen. 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 Uh, stehen, which is spelled S T E H E N, because in German S T always has the sound of an S H T. Stehen. Stehen is to stand. And verstehen, if you put ver in front of stehen, is to understand. Ver is spelled V E R. Verstehen is to understand. So uh, we understand would be wir verstehen. Ver. Wir verstehen. Wir verstehen. Wir, wir ver verstehen. Yes, if wir verstehen. Uh, we understand you. Wir sie verstehen. No. no, this is not the second verb, it's the first verb. Wir verstehen sie. Wir verstehen sie. The word for good is... Gut. 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 Again, spelled G-U-T, and the U has the sound of a double O, like food. Gut. Gut. Gut means good. Gut also means well. And so very good would be, very is sehr, spelled S-E-H-R, sehr. So very good would be? Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Right. In German, to elongate the vowel, to stretch it out in sound, there are two ways to do that. Either you double the vowel, or you put an H after it. And the, in sehr, for very, it is, it is pronounced sehr, so you have S-E-H-R, sehr. Without the H, it would be sehr. Sehr, stretched out with an H. Or, in some words, you will double the uh, vowel. Let's take mehr, mehr, das Meer would be the ocean. Das Mittelmeer would be the middle ocean. What would that be? Mediterranean. The Mediterranean is das Mittelmeer. Mittel, the D of in English middle, in German Mittel. Das Mittelmeer. Meer spelled for ocean M E E R. Meer. But you have the same word Meer which means more, and that is spelled M-E-H-R. So the sound is the same. Meer, more, M-E-H-R, or Meer, ocean, M-E-E-R, Meer. So sehr is spelled S-E-H-R. So very good would be? Sehr gut. Sehr. Sehr gut. Little, the use an U like in food. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. So it is very good. Es, es ist sehr gut. Es ist. Es ist sehr gut. Right. Es ist sehr gut. 
So sehr gut means very good. It also means very well. To understand, you remember to understand? Verst Verstaken? No, verstehen. 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 Verstehen is to stand. Stehen to stand and verstehen to understand. So uh, we understand would be. Wir verstehen. Wir verstehen. Wir verstehen. Wir verstehen. Right. Ver is spelled V E R and the V always has a sound of an F. Verstehen. Wir verstehen. And how would you say we don't understand is we understand not, which would be. Wir verstehen. Ver Once more. Verstehen. Wir verstehen. Wir verstehen nicht. Wir verstehen nicht. Right. Wir verstehen. Wir verstehen nicht. Nicht. Um, how would you say uh, we don't understand it? Wir verstehen es nicht. Right. Wir verstehen es nicht. We don't understand you. Wir verstehen sie nicht. Sie nicht. Go back to I. What is I? Ich. 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 And not is nicht. Nicht. Right. nicht. Right. Now, once more. We don't understand you. Wir. Wir verstehen. Ver Wir verstehen. Sie nicht. Sie nicht. 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 Right. Wir verstehen Sie nicht. How do you say, we don't understand you very well? Wir verstehen Sie nicht. Very well. Sehr gut. Sehr. Sehr gut. Little more. Sehr gu gut. 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 Think of the, the U is a, is a double O. Food. Gut. F food. Gut. Boot. Boot. Yes. Food. Gut. Yes. Food. So again, we don't understand you very well. Wir verstehen Sie nicht. 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 Sein gut. Hm? Uh, nicht. Nicht. Sehr gut. Right. Wir verstehen. Sie nicht sehr gut. gut. How would you say, do you understand? Now you have a question mark. Wollen Sie verstehen? Now, wollen Sie es, do you want? Or will you? But do you understand is... Verstehen Sie. Right. Verstehen Sie? Do you understand it? Verstehen Sie es? Right. Verstehen Sie es? Do you understand me? Me would be mich. Mich. So again we have the ich, the ch sound, the ich, but with an, with an m in front you have mich. So how would you say me? Mich. 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 So do you understand me would be? Verstehen Sie mich? Verstehen Sie mich? If you want to say, don't you understand me, that would be... Nichts. No. no. Don't you is, don't you understand me is, understand you, Verst me not. <laughs> Verstehe mich nicht. Verstehen who? Verstehen mich. Verstehen is to understand. Do you understand is, verstehen... Verstehen Sie mich nicht. Right. Verstehen Sie mich nicht? Verstehen Sie mich nicht? How would you say, can you understand me? No, can, I call that a handle, because that is followed by another verb. Mm. That verb is the full verb which comes at the end. So, can you understand me would be? Können Sie mich? Können. Können Sie mich verstehen? Right. Verstehen. Können, können Sie 
mich verstehen. Right. Können Sie mich verstehen? I, what is I can? Ich kann. Good. Ich kann. Spell k e w n Ich kann. I cannot. Ich kann nicht. Ich, ganz mal. Ich, ich kann nicht. Was mal? Ich kann nicht. Ich, not so fast. Ich, ich kann nicht. Right. Ich kann nicht. I cannot understand you. Ich kann nicht Sie verstehen. Ver verstehen. Right. Ich kann Sie nicht verstehen. Ich kann Sie nicht verstehen. If you want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In German you will say it does me sorrow. It does is es tut. Tun, tun is to do. And it does, the S for he, she, it, instead of an S, you have a T, and you have as tut, T-U-T. As tut, me, me in the sense of to me is mir. It does to me, mir. If it is not to me, just me is mich. I will come back to that. So as tut, mir, it does to me, light. Light, spelled l e I D. The I always has is spelled with an E I. Es tut mir leid. Es tut mir leid. Would be I'm sorry. You will hear it often and you, you may want to say it. Es tut mir leid. How would you say it? Es tut mir leid. Right. Es tut mir leid. Once more. Es tut mir leid. Right. Es tut mir leid. Es tut mir leid. I'm sorry. Usually followed by. But, <laughs> and but is, I gave you before, aber, aber, A-B-E-R. So, I'm sorry, but would be, as, as tut mir, tut, tut, as tut, tut mir, not tut, but tut, the U is an U. As tut mir leid, aber. Right, as tut mir leid, aber. I'm sorry, but I cannot understand you. Es tut mir leid, aber ich kann. I ich, cannot. Ich kann nicht Sie verstehen. 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 Yes. So once more, to understand is verstehen. Verstehen. Once more. Verstehen. Right. And I, uh, I cannot understand you. Ich kann. Ich kann. Ich kann nicht verstehen. That is, I cannot understand. I cannot understand you. Ich, ich kann. Ich kann Sie nicht verstehen. Nicht. Nicht verstehen. Ich, Say it again. Ich, ich kann, kann Sie nicht verstehen. Yes, but it was a little too fast. I want to. I want you to pronounce every word clearly. Ich kann. Ich kann. Ich kann Sie. Now comes the not. Nicht. Right. Verstehen. 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 Right. Ich kann sie nicht. Yes, the T has to be heard. Ich kann sie nicht verstehen. You remember to stay. Bleib. Bleiben. Bleiben. Uh, we are staying would be. Wir bleiben. Wir bleiben. We are not staying. We are staying not. Wir bleiben nicht. Right. Now I heard it clearly. Wir bleiben nicht. We are not staying here. Wir bleiben nicht hier. Right. The word for long in time, long time, is lange. Lange. Just long. Lange. Uh, we, we cannot stay here long. Long time would be, we cannot. Wir können nicht. Können, können, können. Wir können nicht. Wir können nicht. Right, wir können nicht. Wir, wir können. können nicht. Right, wir können nicht. How would you say it? Wir können nicht. Right, wir können nicht. So, we cannot stay here long would be, 
Wir können nicht hier bleiben lange. No, hier lange bleiben. Right. Wir können nicht hier lange okay. bleiben. Du wird für how ist wie. Spell W I E. And how long would be? Wie lange? Wie lange? Right. How long can you stay here? Wie lange can you? Können Sie? Mm -hmm. Hier bleiben. Right. Wie lange können Sie hier bleiben? I must is ich muss. Just M U W S. Ich muss. Ich, ich muss. muss. So, uh, I must uh, see it would be. Ich muss sehen. It. Yes. Ich muss es sehen. Ich muss es sehen. Ich muss es sehen. Right. Ich muss es sehen. I, um, I must stay here. Ich muss hier bleiben. Right. Ich muss hier bleiben. But I cannot stay here long. Aber ich kann mm -hmm. nicht hier lange bleiben. Yes, aber ich kann nicht hier lange bleiben, aber ich kann nicht lange or very long, sehr, sehr lange, lange hier bleiben. I must go soon. Ich, ich I must. Ich muss. Soon, you remember soon to be bald soon. Bald. 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 Bald soon. B A L D. Ich so. muss bald go. Gehen. Ich muss bald gehen. Ich yes. muss bald gehen. Right. 